Hey guys, and welcome to your daily mobility flow. Let's stretch. How about it? I know you're not used to that stretching, but let's do it. Let's go ahead and stand up a little bit today. We're going to spread your feet to about that like middle position. We're not really aiming for the groin. We're going to go for the hamstrings. So we want a position where like even if you're using socks on carpet, your feet would not slide. And we're just going to sit down into the stretch and work side to side. I'm just gonna open up the belly of those hamstrings. This is always a tough stretch to start with. Not because it's a tough stretch to start with, but for me, trying to talk to you, I feel like I spend the first full minute of the video just looking at the floor. And not connecting with you, you know? Not connecting. Plus you gotta look at my bald head. <laughs> my bad my bad anyways how you guys doing you doing good i hope you're doing good it's been a good day here sun shining a little mentor call earlier today which is you don't have a mentor someone who's a little further than you in a certain aspect of your life and who wants to help you should get one. Do it. Find somebody who you trust, who cares about your progress, but also cares about holding you accountable and someone that you will actually listen to. Like even if they tell you to do something you don't like or they recommend something you disagree with or they say something to you that could offend you, Listen anyways, find that person and talk to them once a week, every other week, something. All right, let's go knees out, hips down. I'll bring my feet in just a touch because they're about to slide. And we're just gonna kind of start loosening up that groin. This is the Russian baby maker, not kidding. I wouldn't search it on YouTube if I were you. I mean, it'd be interesting to know if I made that up because I heard it somewhere. Well, you can't make something up that you hear somewhere. If I kept that as the name of this because I heard it somewhere, oh, or if it's what lots of people call it, but I'm not gonna search it on YouTube and I would not recommend it. All right, let's kick back up. We're gonna do that one more time. Straight legs, straight knees. I tell you what, I'm sore from like 30 minutes of skateboarding yesterday. All I did was like practice ollieing, like where you jump the board off the ground, land on it, and turning. Oof, it got me. It got me good. That's why you gotta do new things. So I gotta try stuff you, you're not good at and you can't do because it'll expose you. It'll show you all the ways you can keep getting better. All right, let's go knees out. Hips down, all the ways your body is not prepared for everything. You're like, oh, I'm, you know, reasonably fit. And then you do something like skateboard or like wakeboard or tube or, you know, swim or something. You're like, oh, okay, more fitness, more fitness, please. All right, go ahead and relax out of that. We're gonna hit a little bit longer pigeon next because you should pigeon every day. We don't necessarily always do it, but we do it pretty often. We're gonna hold this for a good minute, maybe 90 seconds per side. In fact, oh, my timer's off. Let's do it for real time. Come on. All right, we got 90 seconds per side. You like the production? This is production right here. Go. One and a half minutes. Pigeon per side. And I'll do my best to be reasonably entertaining, but if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna need my tea. Don't take yourself too seriously. Don't do it. That was the best part about training dogs. I trained dogs all through college, professionally. And you know, we work with people all day, but we had a pretty good amount of people who were the after work crowd. 
And in Charlotte, man, every now and again, you'd get some dude who just got off his big, you know, his, his important job. You know, it's a job that's important to him. He takes seriously. It's all buttoned up and, you know, all kinds of stuff. And just like, okay, got it. Yeah. That's my serious voice. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, but either way, the dogs just break people down, you know, in a good way, you know, calm people down, just like make people who are way too serious, goofy and dog training. You got to be like over the top goofy or you will just be the worst trainer to, uh, to work with for the dog's sake. You know, they dogs kind of thrive on energy and optimism and, you know, excitedness. And so you got to bring that to the table in dog training if you really want a good response from your dogs. And so you have to like coach that out of people. Like, hey man, it's okay. You can be goofy. Oh crap, that was a minute 45. Switch sides. Oh. Okay. Got a minute 45. Got to keep it even starting now. And it was just cool. It taught me a lot about like letting go of personality training with dogs did my boss at one point in time he's this Turkish dude definitely got me where I am today 100% sometimes I hated working for him sometimes I love working for him but really huge reason you know why I am the way that I am and hopefully mostly good ways but one time he was just like dude could you imagine being that dog? They're probably miserable. You're a miserable person. Probably not the exact words, but they were probably pretty close. He, he was like that. He was like, you're like a Nazi. You know, not literally, but come sit, place, down, this, that. You know, it's like, he's like, no wonder, no wonder your dog doesn't want to work for you. Like, you're miserable to work for. Maybe you start having a little bit of fun and maybe that'd be good. Maybe you should try. And uh, so I really had to learn how to be like, Papa de Papa de Boo. <laughs> like this, you know, like this. Just, you know, I think what you want, but I'm gonna have fun either way. And it was really dog training that kind of taught me to let go of some of that shell, that idea of who I am or what I need to be or that if I'm goofy or, you know, whatever, that I, I guess I had a preconceived notion that that meant I couldn't be serious. You can't be like funny and goofy and whatever and serious. Like those things, you know, I had that idea. It's just dumb, you know, it's a dumb idea. Okay, that's it. We're done with that. We're going to finish, ladies and gentlemen, with everybody's most most favorite. <laughs> you know you love it. Yes, you do. We're gonna do, I mean, you see what I'm setting up for. Let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest. We're gonna work ankles, knees, hips. Starting with the ankles, we're gonna try to sit on the feet. Okay, if you're mostly right here all the time, let's try to lay your laces down. Start up and just slowly sit back onto those feet. Put a little bit of pressure down. Once we get onto the feet, we can start letting the knees go, sinking into the ground, and we can start working back towards the hips. Slide like this. And then eventually we can drop down to the elbows. You don't have to be following me right now. Do your thing. Stretch yourself. Work on your ankles, then your knees, then your hips. Don't try to force your hips if your ankles aren't ready yet. But if your ankles aren't ready, you need to get them ready, I promise. It'll make your whole life better. Literally, your whole life. Eventually, well, you can get down into a full-on reclined hero. I call this reclining hero. But eventually, it just becomes reclined hero because I am reclined. Take your time, we don't have to force anything. Please don't force anything. It's not smart, it's not a good way to stretch. You wanna be in a position you can try to relax. It doesn't have to be fully comfortable the whole time. 
but it should be amount of discomfort that you can maintain, that you can control, that you can keep your breathing. You gotta be able to relax. Relax, but don't let this almost 32 year old dude be more flexible than you. That's not cool. That's not cool, people, you know, people don't like that. You're supposed to be flexible, be flexible. And if you're like, ah, but you're only 32, I'm 48, just, I'll be 50 doing this. Just like I'm gonna be 50 doing a gainer off the diving board at the swimming pool. Because don't get old until you stop learning. It's my life lesson for today. When you stop learning, you start wasting away. So don't stop learning. And I don't just mean mentally, I mean physically. Learn coordination and new things and play with stuff and try stuff you're not that good at. And get good at it. Don't be that person. Rest. Don't be that person. The person we just talked about. Anyways, I'm gonna stay right here. Weirdly lined up in the camera. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you more than you know. You're why I do this. So I hope I will get to see you tomorrow. And uh, that's it. <laughs>